12 Strange Things Found in the Sahara But first, thanks Anonymous for leaving us this comment and for keeping us motivated. With all the support from you guys, we're sure we'll pass PewDiePie in no time. Number 12. The Marrow Pyramids The Sahara is the largest hot desert in the world and it's also one of the least densely populated regions. For a huge desert about the size of the United States, there's roughly 200,000 people who actually live on the desert sands. We are all familiar with the mysteries of the Great Pyramids in Giza along the Nile River, but what about the Moreau Pyramids from the Kushite Kingdom? These were constructed by the Nubians that the Egyptians would often wage war with in present-day Sudan. The Nubians had learned quite a few things from their neighbors from the north, but couldn't really replicate the pyramids in a similar fashion. These pyramids were made with much steeper angles. There are about 200 of these ancient buildings constructed around 2,700 years ago, which served as tombs for kings and queens. Number 11. Wa An Namus Libya is a fairly large country in Africa that appears to be the same color for miles and miles. But from an aerial view, you'll notice a large black dot that seems to stand out. This is Wa An Namus. It's an oasis that formed in the middle of a volcanic crater, and the change in color of sand is from an extinct volcano that once spewed lava in this area. Its name is translated to Oasis of Mosquitoes due to the large amount of mosquitoes that are here. This oasis was unknown outside of Africa until the late 19th century when a French soldier was kept prisoner here. It's also served as an important watering hole for caravans trying to make it across the vast Saharan desert. The black sands make it stand out for miles and miles. Number 10. Enormous Sandstorms This dry sandbox used to be covered in water thousands of years ago, but it's one of the driest places on Earth now. Giant dust storms tend to form quite often in the Sahara when strong winds begin to blow. It often picks up fine grains of sand and it scatters them far up into the sky. The largest sandstorm ever recorded reached 5,000 feet into the sky and moved at speeds of 25 miles per hour to 47 miles per hour. Here in this photo, we can see the aftermath of Cairo engulfed by a giant sandstorm and the color of the sky is completely different. This can cause lung problems, delay flights, and destroy crops. Sometimes you might even find what's known as a dust devil, which is basically a sand tornado. Walking Whales One way we know that the Sahara was once underwater was from uncovering giant fossils of leg whales. Dozens of rare fossilized whale bones were uncovered in the Egyptian Sahara Desert, and it seems to show that whales were once land mammals who had legs instead of fins. In order to protect the fossils, Egypt spent $2.17 billion to construct a museum, which is known as Wadi al Hitan. They began calling this place the Valley of Whales, and instead of ancient Egyptian tomb complexes, you only find sand-colored domes. This enormous creature is what's known as a Bastiliosaurus, and they've been taking this site pretty seriously with even armed guards like you see here. It's been recently listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an important link to evolutionary theories and climate change. Number 8. Libyan Desert Glass Around 28 million years ago, a huge comet struck desert sands in Libya and heated up the ground particles to 2,000 degrees Celsius. This impact was hot enough to turn the sand into a yellow glass. Remnants of the comet and the Libyan desert glass are only found in the Sahara Desert. The rare glass is scattered within a 6,000 square kilometer area that you see in this map. The ancient Egyptians adored this naturally formed glass and felt like it had some magical powers to it. Here in this photo, we see one of Tutankhamun's remarkably preserved brooch with a Libyan glass scarab beetle as the centerpiece. It was also seen as a valuable material to make tools from and had similar properties to obsidian, which is a volcanic glass used for weapons by the Aztecs. Number 7. Gerbois Bleu Test Site France became the fourth nuclear-powered nation after the USA, USSR, and Great Britain. They were eager to test out one of their devices of destruction and decided to test their first launch in the Algerian Saharan Desert in the 1960s with a bomb called the Gerbois Bleu. This took place near the Berber county of Regain. You can still see some of the discoloration of the sand from the original black and white photo that you see here. If you get somewhere close to this testing site by foot, you might come across a sign like this, warning those who dare venture any further. The huge cloud of sand that was released from the atom bomb apparently spread radioactivity into neighboring countries and even to the south of France. Could the extreme heat from the blast have possibly created something similar to the Libyan desert glass? Number 6. Gadames Located a few hundred miles from the Mediterranean Sea, Gadames is nicknamed the Pearl of the Desert because of its pearl-white apartment buildings. 
It was basically an abandoned city in the Sahara Desert for a long period of time when its source of water dried up. Located in the country of Libya, Gadames was recently listed as a World Heritage Site, and its origins date back to the 4th millennium BC. After miles and miles of endless desert, people must be thinking they're seeing a mirage when they come across the revived date orchards. The Romans used this area to store supplies and help them secure North Africa as part of their empire. Temperatures in this area have reached as high as 131 degrees Fahrenheit. New housing was designed around the old city that can put up with the heat, and it's now home to about 10,000 residents. Number 5. Akakis Mountains This mountain range in the center of the Sahara forms between the countries of Libya and Algeria. It's here where you'll find a large variation of strange dune and rock formations like the rock art and Tad Rart. This is also where you'll find the ancient rock art of the Sahara, or what's left of it. The paintings depicting giraffes, elephants, ostriches, and horses date back to 12,000 BC. The UNESCO State of Conservation reported a large amount of vandalism with sledgehammers that appeared to be intentionally inflicted to damage the painting as much as possible. Many of these were looted, but this seems to just happen when a country is under a little bit of political chaos. Number 4. The Saharan Horn Viper By looking at photos, many might come to the conclusion that the Sahara is a lifeless wasteland. But this certainly isn't the case and is home to a unique and somewhat creepy wildlife ecosystem. Possibly the most intimidating looking snake makes itself home in northern Africa. It actually has horns coming out of its head, almost like the devil himself. These horns are actually used to protect their eyes while they're slithering through the Saharan sands and are very aggressive. This nocturnal, carnivorous creature feasts on things like rodents, birds, and lizards. The ancient Egyptians actually used to embalm the desert horn vipers, and some claim that this was a type of snake that assisted in Cleopatra taking her own life. Number 3. Desert Breath What could this thing possibly be? A UFO landing site? No, it's actually an art installation in eastern Egypt. The winds of the Sahara Desert have somewhat eroded the spiral, but that's to be somewhat expected after 10 years. This was created by a group of Greek artists, and it covers up a space of about 25 acres. Roughly 8,000 cubic meters of sand was dug up, and there used to be a body of water 98 feet deep in the center, but this quickly evaporated. The artists say that it was meant to represent the infinity of the desert. Today it sort of represents the passage of time. Number 2. The City of Timbuktu Located on the southern edge of the Sahara in the country of Mali is where you'll find the historical city of Timbuktu. Today, it's using expressions describing a really far away place, but it actually does exist. Between the 12th and the 14th century, this city thrived and was extremely wealthy from trading salt and ivory. This commodity was traded by large caravans of camels and it brought an enormous amount of wealth to the Malayan Empire. They constructed immense fortifications around the city with a unique architecture that's not seen commonly today. This city has earned a mythical reputation and Europeans hearing about this city were fascinated by legendary tales of riches, almost like an African El Dorado. Today, there are still people who live at this city, but its best days are far behind. And number 1. The Eye of the Sahara Hmm, okay, I was told there was some kind of eye-looking formation somewhere around here on Google Maps. Where is it? Oh, there it is. American Eye is presenting you, the Saharan Eye, which is located in the country of Mauritania. This massive geological structure is in the shape of a nearly perfect circle with a 25-mile diameter. There are many theories of how it formed. The first theory was that it was a site from an asteroid impact. After further investigation, they concluded that this was not the reason. Although no one knows exactly how it was truly formed, geologists believe it was some type of symmetrical geological dome. They claimed it formed 104 million years ago, but conspiracy theorists claim it was a settlement from a UFO at one point, or even a secret Illuminati base. 